Hey guys, King Gath here with some mod news. Today we've got a ton of new add-ons thanks to uh, the recently completed Merry Modding Days, which we'll talk about in a moment. We've got city plan contest information for you guys and a little patch that I just put out for the East Empire expansion for those of you guys who are checking that out. All right, before we get into all that, of course, we got to thank our patrons as you guys ensure that we're not digging into our pockets to cover up all these development costs and to ensure that we can keep services going like our forums and email and websites and all these tools that we're running. And you guys are amazing. So I'm going to shout out a handful of you today. If I miss you, I will get to you in the next video. So huge shout out and thanks to JJ, Jubilant Jackrabbit, which I guess is also JJ, Nicholas Ashlock, Savage Warden, Sebastian... I want to say Trumper, but the with the little dots, I think it, maybe it's Trumper or something like that. So let me know how I did, Sebastian. Uh, David Gleisberg and Lucifer. Thank you guys all. And uh, hopefully I'll catch up to this list eventually. As now uh, we're, we're done with Chapter 3. Things are settling into a regular cadence. After the holidays, we're going to be back on our two to three week patch cycle for uh, some settlements too. And uh, we'll get these videos out on the regular. All right, let's dive into all of these mods. So uh, Veda Phoenix and Green Fox hosted something called Merry Modding days which you can read about on concordstories.com i'll have a link below where they had a new mod or announcement from somebody in the fallout 4 scene every day as like an advent calendar very very cool and a bunch of these were related to sim settlements too so i'm going to point out a few of those but i would encourage you guys to go check out concordstories.com and look at all of those now concordstories.com itself is a big quest mod that they're working on and they're going to be doing some stuff with uh, the uh, world repop and some settlements too and they're going to have quests and stories. It's going to be really, really cool. Big project they're going to be working on uh, throughout 2024. So go read up on that. All right, so first up, and I'm going to be doing these. I'm going to try and do them in order that they appeared on the calendar. My apologies if I mistyped some of these. Uh, the first one is uh, Dough Plots by Choo Choo One. This is going to be two new commercial plots using the Slocum's Joe Creation Club content. Next up, we've got New Holidays by Green Foxel, and this is going to add some new holidays. This is a system we haven't seen anybody tie into, but some settlements to his holiday decorations is actually an injectable system. And uh, Foxel has added in new holidays in the form of St. Patrick's Day, Thanksgiving, and then I don't know if this is an actual in-game holiday or if they made it up, uh, but Diamond City Day, all very cool. So some more decorations you can see appearing on plot. So they've got some new things that they've injected, not just the holidays, but decorations for those holidays, which can appear on all of your plots that have the appropriate little markers for them to appear. Next up, we've got Minutes Notice by Captain Laserbeam. Now, this is the first uh, faction pack I believe we've seen. We also saw, we previously saw one that was Enclave themed, but it didn't have to do with the war mechanics. It was more of a faction pack in the sense of building plans. This is actually for a lot of the war mechanics in Chapter 3. Now, Captain Laserbeam is actually on the Sim Settlements team and uh, did a lot of work during the uh, 3.10 overhaul of a lot of the systems there and worked even in development of chapter three. And uh, so he's very, very familiar with all the systems, has direct access to me to answer questions. So hopefully this is a pretty full featured little faction pack here. It is tying into the We Are the Minutemen and Far West Minutemen. Uh, he tied into both of those mods, which I know are very, very popular to uh, give you guys a pretty full featured Minutemen pack. So it's going to give you new loadouts, uniforms, special units, basically all the things you could want to take your army and make it feel like a big giant Minutemen situation there. So he's been in talk with me about other things we can do in the future to enhance the system or give more power. But for now, this is a great introduction to the faction pack system. So go check out Minutes Notice by Captain Laserbeam. All right, then we've got Downtime 2 by Desimona. And this is going to add a bunch of recreational plots with more on the way. And I think that that's a, the case for a lot of these building plans. A lot of them are saying that they're going to be adding more stuff in the future. So definitely grab these and then uh, keep those marked so you can go check them again in the future. We've got uh, another one that I believe requires the uh, Nuka Cola CC, but I actually forgot to write that down if it is the case, but it's Have a Nuka by Choo Choo One, and it adds a 3x3 three three commercial plot themed after Nuka Cola. So definitely go check that one out if you're looking for some 3x3 three three commercials. I know those are a rarity. Then we've got a, a brand new add-on author who's been working on our servers for a while, trying to figure all this stuff out, and is finally getting some stuff out. And that is Nora's Commonwealth Reconstruction Project by, and I'm going to butcher this, my apologies, a Bocephus is what it looks like, but 
you're on Discord. You know where to find me if I got your name wrong. Uh, and that has got some residential plots. I believe it had two at the time. I didn't uh, go check the description right before I recorded this. It was two as of yesterday. And uh, it does say, again, more plans. So keep an eye on that and get some more residential options. Then we've got finally Brick and Clay by Green Foxel, which adds residential plots. And uh, I believe it added six and there are, oh, I'm sorry, three and four skins. I almost I got this one mixed up with the recreational from Desmona. So there were uh, three new residential plots with some various skins and plans for more after the holidays again. So lots of building plans came out in December with lots more on the way from the sound of it. Very, very excited to see uh, what everybody is working on. So go check all of those out. All right, next up, city plan contest news. So you may have noticed that we never put out voting videos for uh, the November contest. And normally we would get those out around the 20th and then that would have all the voting done in time for the videos on the 28th. But due to the holidays and some stuff that happened behind the scenes, we just didn't get that in time. Uh, we're short a couple of the videos we need to do that and we're gonna wrap that up. You should expect to see that uh, early next week or maybe even over the weekend, depending on how things line up. So we'll just have two sets of voting kind of back to back in January. So apologies to those of you guys who entered in the November contest. If you're waiting to find out who won, we will get that sorted very, very soon. So speaking of the contest, today being the 28th means we've got a new one starting. So for January, I know some of you guys are going to be a little hungover, so we're going with smaller settlements. So we've got three for you to choose from. Once again, going with the outpost plan. That's going to be the theme for season four. We are uh, in talks with some folks about some, some uh, things to shake things up as we go. But uh, we're going to start out the new year with these three settlements. Jamaica Plain. Hangman's Alley and Boston Airport. So pick one of those, build yourself a cool outpost. And uh, if you're concerned about Boston Airport not being able to use settlers, if you grab the uh, city plan contest mod, it does automatically convert Boston Airport into a proper settlement so that you should be able to get settlers in there and build uh, whatever it is you wanna build in there. All right, and then moving on to the East Empire patch. Those of you guys who have taken a dive into Skyrim recently to help support our uh, endeavor to try and eventually become uh, basically full-time creators, the uh, East Empire expansion has, uh, has taken off well so far, and I'm very, very grateful for all you guys' support there. And we've been getting a lot of requests for quality of life stuff. And because we built East Empire expansion with the idea of being super, super immersive and feeling like it's part of the base game, so any design decision we took, we made sure does that fit in the design decisions made around Skyrim. So we avoided a lot of things you would normally do in a mod. So things uh, like uh, we didn't do a whole lot of menus or inject things into the player's inventory. We tried to do things all in a, an immersive way. And that leaves a lot of holes where things we could do a little bit differently would make things feel a little more user friendly and the like. So we're I am going to, I shouldn't say we, I am going to be supporting what I call the East Empire expansion modified and that is basically taking this thing that we've created to feel like a DLC and making it feel a little more mod-like. So that means we can take some uh, exceptions with uh, immersiveness. So the two things it does right now is one, it makes all of the East Empire merchants that appear at the outposts immortal. And the second is that it injects an item called the EEE options menu. And this is just a potion you can use so that you can check out uh, the different settings in East Empire expansion, so you can change the systems, turn them on and off, and I'll probably add more to that menu over time. There's already been some requests in our Discord server, and if you would like to join that, I will have a link below in the description if you're interested in discussing the East Empire expansion or uh, have some bugs to report, etc. All right, guys, that covers the news for today, so take care and enjoy the mods.